this is part 11 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different methods that are available in JavaScript that can be used to retrieve a substring from a given string. These are the three methods that can be used to retrieve a substring. The functionality of all these three methods is almost identical. I'm not really sure why we have so many methods to do the same thing. If you know the reason, please feel free to leave that as a comment. Now first look at this substring method. This method has two parameters, start and end. In fact, Visual Studio IntelliSense will show us the names of those two parameters. So here we have the string variable str and we are calling substring method. And notice that the moment we open the bracket, it shows the names of those two parameters, start, end. Start parameter is required and it specifies the position where to start the extraction. End parameter is optional and it specifies the position where to end the extraction. The character at the end position is not included in the substring. We'll look at an example in just a bit. If the end parameter is not specified, all the characters from the start position till the end of the string are extracted. The interesting thing is, if the value of start parameter is greater than the value of the end parameter, then this method is going to automatically swap those two parameters, meaning start parameter will be used as end parameter and end parameter will be used as start parameter. Let's look at a few examples now. So here within this variable str, we have the string JavaScript tutorial and on that variable we are calling the substring method. Notice that we are passing 0 as the start parameter and 10 as the end parameter. Now the index position within a string starts at 0. That means at index position 0 we have this letter j and at index position 1 we have this letter a so on and so forth. So basically we are telling we want to start at index position 0 that is at letter j and we want to end the extraction at index position 10. So if you look at this JavaScript word, it has got 10 characters in it. Since we are starting at index position 0, this letter T is present at index position 9 and this white space is present at index position 10. So basically the end parameter is 10. That means end the substring extraction at that index position. So the character that is present at the end parameter will not be included in the substring. That means within the output we'll get JavaScript word. Now in this example notice that start parameter is greater than the end parameter. Now if that's the case this substring method is going to automatically swap those two parameters meaning it's now going to use 0 as the start parameter and 10 as the end parameter. So we will end up with the same output. Let's look at substr method. Again, this method is very identical to substring method. Again, this method has got two parameters. They are named slightly differently from substring method. With substring method, the parameters are named start and end. With substr, they are named start and count. So just like substring method, start parameter specifies the position where to start the extraction, and it's a required parameter. Count parameter is optional and it specifies the number of characters to extract. Now on the internet you might find you know on some of the articles you know this second parameter will be named as length parameter. Now irrespective of however it is named you know it specifies the number of characters that you want within the substring. Now if the count parameter is not specified all the characters from the start position till the end of the string are extracted. If count is zero or negative, then obviously we will get an empty string back. Let's look at a few examples of using substr method. So again, within that str variable, we have that string JavaScript tutorial, and we are using the substring method here, and we are saying the start position is zero, so start at letter j, and then give me 10 characters. If you look at this JavaScript word, it has got 10 characters within that. So starting at J, give me 10 characters. So that's going to return this word, JavaScript. Now in this example, notice that we are not specifying the count parameter because just like substring method, the second parameter is optional even with substr method. So when we don't specify the count parameter, it's going to start the substring extraction at index position 11. And at index position 11, we have this letter T. So start the extraction at that position and give me all the characters of that. 
So it's going to return us this word tutorial. Now, if you have any other characters after L, that is maybe three exclamation marks, you will get them as L in the output. Now let's look at the slice method. Again, just like the other two methods, this method also has got two parameters. And just like substring method, the parameters of this method are also named start and end. Start parameter is required and it specifies the position where the extraction should start. End parameter is optional and it specifies the position where the extraction should end. The character at the end position is not included in the substring. So this is almost identical to substring method. If the end parameter is not specified, then all the characters from the start position till the end of the string are extracted. Now let's look at a few examples of this method. So here we are calling the slice method and we are saying start at index position 0 and you know the end parameter is 10 so end at that position at 10 we have white space so this is going to return exactly the same output as substring method. Now in this case we are not specifying the end parameter so we are basically telling start at position 11 and give me all the characters in the string. So that's going to return this word tutorial. Now let's look at the difference between these methods. So what's the difference between substr and substring methods? The difference for these two methods is in the second parameter. The second parameter of substring method specifies the index position where the extraction should stop. The character at the end position is not included in the substring. The second parameter of substr method it's named as count or length and that method specifies the number of characters to return. Another difference is substr method does not work in IE8 and earlier versions. So if you want support in those browsers then it is better to use substring over substr method. Now let's look at the difference between slice and substring. These methods are almost identical except for one difference. That one difference is if start parameter is greater than stop parameter, then substring will swap those two parameters, whereas slice method is not going to swap them. Another method that is very useful when extracting sub a substring from a given string is index of method. So this method returns the position of the first occurrence of a specified value in a string. If the specified value is not present, then minus one is returned to indicate that, you know, that specified value does not exist within the given string. So here is an example. So within this variable, we have got an email address. Okay, and what we are doing here is we are using the index of method and we are saying we want the index of this at character within that index. And obviously we know the index position start at zero. So P R A G I M. So M is at index position five. So the at symbol is present at index position 6. In our next video, we'll discuss a simple real-time example of where we can use this index of method and substring methods and do something interesting. Thank you for listening and have a great day.